So everyone on the left, myself included, all, you know, have at one point or another made fun of PragerU because they are just so obnoxious. Uh, like a year or two ago, before what seemed like every single YouTube video, you'd see a PragerU ad and it was so annoying. The problem, however, is that even if we're annoyed because we know better, we know that this is just far-right propaganda funded by right-wing oligarchs, most Americans don't know any better. Lots of Americans have been exposed to PragerU, and their videos, unfortunately, are very effective. But this video uh, that we're going to talk about, th this article that we're going to talk about today, it will have you longing for the days where the biggest concern with regard to PragerU was that we saw their ads too much, because now they are trying to outright brainwash your children. They are trying to get PragerU videos taught in schools. Yeah. So as Rebecca Klein of HuffPost reports, an Ohio public school has been giving students extra credit for watching videos from PragerU, a right-wing website that produces clips of talking heads such as Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro discussing conservative viewpoints HuffPost has learned. The PragerU videos with titles such as Build the Wall, Why the Right Was Right, and The Left Ruins Everything were assigned to a 10th grade history class at Mame High School, along with a series of questions about the video most important messages. Wow. The assignment came at the same time that the website has tried to gain further influence in K-12 classrooms. Earlier this month, the organization launched a program directly aimed at parents and educators, complete with study guides with sections such as conservatives are the real environmentalists and the Ferguson lie based on a HuffPost review of the materials. Andrea Cutway, the mother of a 16-year-old student, Avery Lewis, brought the assignment to the attention of Mame City Schools administrators and immediately pulled her daughter out of the class. Mame is about 10 miles southwest of Toledo. Administrators first tried what they deemed a compromise by allowing the student to include videos that reflected views from the other side of the political spectrum. Cutway said, This was her daughter's suggestion, not the school's, Cutway noted. Other students were still instructed to complete the work using the original videos, Cutway said. But after HuffPost reached out to the school about the assignment, it decided to remove the materials from the syllabus. Todd Kramer, superintendent of Mame City Schools told HuffPost. Other PragerU videos on its website dissect issues in five-minute clips and have titles such as There Is No Gender Wage Gap, How to Steal an Election, Mail-In Ballots, and Is Islam a Religion of Peace? The teacher's class website shows that she also assigned the videos last year. The homework assignment appeared unrelated to PragerU's latest venture, called PragerU Educators and Parents, or PREP, which launched several weeks ago. The inception of such a program suggested that these types of assignments may become more prevalent in schools. Already 2,000 parents and educators have already signed up for PrEP, Craig Strazeri, chief marketing officer of PragerU, said in an email to HuffPost. So the one incident where, you know, you have a single teacher teaching this garbage, you know, that to me, it's worrying, but it's far less problematic than this PrEP initiative where PragerU actively tries to get their far-right propaganda taught in schools and 2,000 parents and educators have already signed up that doesn't necessarily mean that like 2,000 different classrooms will have this but still the fact that there's any interest in this is worrying because it shows you what the right wants to do they know that if all things as they stand currently don't change regardless if they like it or not the future is progressive because millennials gen zers i mean these are generations that are far more diverse, far more tolerant, far more progressive, and much more open to socialism. So if they just let this generation, you know, uh, flourish and grow and come to power, they will change things in this country. They will change the status quo eventually. It's inevitable as it stands now, but they want to stop that. So rather than just basically accepting that the future is likely going to be left-wing social democracy, they're trying to brainwash children at an early age. Now, we're already seeing Turning Point USA attempt to try to like push back on what they see as liberal indoctrination at colleges because they often complain that, you know, these college campuses across the country, these are just like liberal breeding grounds. They're safe spaces and you can go into college as a conservative and come out as a bleeding heart liberal or a socialist or even a communist 
and they want to stop that with with Turning Point USA. But with PragerU and their prep thing that they're offering, whatever you want to call it, a service, a, a strategy, I don't know. But with this, they're trying to appeal to a younger demographic, K through 12, where they're teaching possibly elementary students about right-wing propaganda, lying to them, indoctrinating them. And let me tell you, what they can do if they're successful with this strategy is far more damage to the country long-term than even Fox News has done to this country to brainwash Americans. And that is absolutely horrifying. And it may be an early thing that they just launched with only 2,000 people signing up, but when you have virtually unlimited resources at your disposal and lots of right-wing investors who want to fund this project because they know down the road they're going to have to convince young people that capitalism is great and you know uh, they deserve more tax cuts this could be really really troubling so here's what i would tell you uh that you need to do if you want to counter this support the gravel institute because this is the only organization that is attacking prager use influence head on the gravel institute is trying to undo the damage caused by prager U because prager U videos are actually incredibly far-reaching like just in my own social circles i was arguing with my idiot cousin um about politics um he's a maga chud and um we were talking about socialism and one of his idiotic friends jumped in and tried to educate me about socialism by sharing a prager U video not just one but multiple prager U videos and whatever i said about capitalism and socialism they had like a prager U video to respond like they already anticipated the arguments at prager U, and like you don't even if you're a right winger you don't even have to grapple with the arguments that your opponent is making in a debate like this like you just have to copy and paste the link to one of their videos and they do the thinking for you so like it's become such a common phenomenon that i'm seeing normies bring up prager you and that really shows i mean this is anecdotal evidence of course but it shows the wide reach that prager you has i mean we see that turning point usa has been relatively dominant um i don't know the overall effect that they've had but prager you has had an effect and if they actually are able to infiltrate schools and indoctrinate and basically brainwash young children at a young age that would be terrible.